Hey guys, over the weekend dad got some footage with his phone um, of him tilling and getting some onions planted. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and show that now. Well, we're tilling today, trying out our new dirt dog tiller. We're, we can get in the ground, it's kind of dry here. It's like it's March 13th. We just tilled this up. We just got done here. And we're going to try to get some cold crops in here this week if we can. Uh, dirt dog tiller really tills that ground up good. I mean, it's that's down in there pretty good. Really worked her up nice. Real pleased with it. All right, today, folks, we're planting some spring onions out here in the garden. We just tilled yesterday. We're going to start sticking some onion sets in. We've got some yellows in, we just planted here. We're getting ready to put white onion sets in. Put about three pounds of each color, white, red, and yellow. What we'll do is we'll stick them in, stick them in, in the ground, nice tilled ground. I like to grow them in a row about three wide. That helps with weed suppression and it also helps as they grow keeping the soil loose next to each other so they're easy to pull out so you're not just pulling the tops off. Uh, if you've farmed in red ground before, you know what I'm talking about. This ground can get tight. When she starts getting dry, she can get really tight. So we, we, we try to plant them three, three wide. That way, when they're growing against each other, they're keeping the soil around each other loose. Get air in there, get water in there. We've got some fertilizer on here, and uh, right now we're we're going to plant some whites, and then we're going to plant reds on down the line, and uh, get ready for spring here. This is this is traditionally some of the first stuff we plant in the spring is spring onions, a few cold crops, and potatoes. So uh, more to follow. We'll be planting some potatoes later on, and um, some broccoli and cauliflower and lettuce. These red onions are a real pretty onion. Um, we like them here on the farm. They taste good, they're sweet. Uh, they look real good in a salad. We're gonna put them in. Uh, you notice I'm doing a lot of hand planting today. I, I like this time of year. I like getting back into the soil, back, back into planting onions and potatoes. It's, you're, you're getting back into being close with the dirt. Keep in mind, we're all from dirt anyway. God created us all from dust. So we're, it's way, I feel like I'm getting back into the dirt. I'm getting a little closer to God again. And uh, uh, we really enjoy doing this. I, I like doing this. It's, it's a passion of mine. I love it. Uh, so we're going to get back into planting some of these red onions and uh, finish them up. And then we'll get into getting some other stuff in the ground. All right. I hope you enjoyed Jim Cam. So we're going to get some footage today um, of plowing and we'll see what else we can get into over here he's trying to get some stuff done in the ground before um, we get some rain later this week i think he just wants to get the ground worked up a little bit so it doesn't get packed down so hard dad just uh scooped up some firewood and looks like he's gonna take it over and unload it all right so dad's bringing that wood around i guess i should help him get that on the porch and then we'll get started here get he'll get the plow hooked up and we'll head down do you even buy heating oil anymore nope got two two wood stoves how many quarter wood do you think you burn between six and seven quarters makes makes bringing the wood over a lot easier doesn't it oh yeah i can get a lot more in the bucket all right i'm in the buddy seat and we're heading to hook up the plow and then we're gonna head down where are we plowing down back where we left the plastic all right plant 60 pound of potatoes in there nine pound of onions Carrots, radishes, red beets. That looks really nice. Is that yep. the new tiller did yep. that? Yep. Dirt, dirt dog, is that what it is? A dirt dog tiller. Dirt dog tiller.
getting the plow hooked up. He's gonna hit this next section here just before it rains. So that way it doesn't get too hard. It'll help the ground absorb the water and then it'll be nice to till. Now over here is where he was working over the weekend. You can see that dirt dog tiller, that new tiller. This ground was not plowed before he tilled and it worked it up really nice. So this is where he just planted the onions and everything else he was working on this weekend. that's it for today I'm gonna head home dad's out plowing still he's probably gonna be plowing for a while just to get as much done as he can tonight um, that was my first time operating the drone so I hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage um, I wanted to get some practice in so that way when we plant and get um, plastic laid that you know we can get some good footage of that too because that's uh, really cool to see if you if for like a flyover view um so thanks for watching uh, give this video a like subscribe to our channel i put out new videos every week um you know if you have any questions about anything go ahead and drop it in the comments um and thanks for watching bye guys